Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So tomorrow is the big day, the October release date for Scrap Diva Designs um, October release. So I'm here to share with you a peek at the dies. Here's all Erica's information and her um, social media info. Make sure you follow along at the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs <clears throat> for tons of inspiration. <clears throat> so, um, some of mine I've already been using, so I have was trying to kind of package them back up so you could see they wouldn't be all tore apart, but so I'll do the best I can. Um, I've only made one project so far, but I've used quite a few of the dies on it. So, um, let me show you first off this one here. This is called the Ruffle Border Die. So you get four different ruffles right here. Small, you know, smallest to largest. This one's got a little cutout right here. So this one you could feed ribbon through or another strip of paper and give it kind of a weaved look. That would be so cute. Uh, yeah, really cute. That's, it's really, really cute. So there's that one. <clears throat> and then next is this new flower set. It is called Fringe Style Flowers. Okay, so you get two of each size and there are four, four different sizes on there. So really cute. Next one is this one. And it is called the Door Mini Album. So these are all the pieces and windows and layering pieces. Um, really fun. You get um, some words with it also, like believe and explore. And then you can also get all these little sprig type pieces. I've already taken a couple out of there and used them on the project that I made. That's what I love, love, love about Erica's dies. When you order die, you don't just get the window die. Or you don't just get, you know, a leaf. You get words and other items that go with it. It's so, so nice to have those other extra pieces that you get in her sets. So that, again, was called Door Mini Album. Okay, next up we have this one, which is called Fall Leaf Mini Album. Okay, and I did already take the word out of here too and use it. Um, so you got your all your layering pieces and, and stitching um, for the leaf, and then you get the words Welcome Fall Colors. So cute. It's going to make a really cute mini album. Okay, and then we have some shaker plates again. It's a fall set, so we got two different styles of leaves. And then we got some cute little acorns and some cute little mushrooms, really cute. It's called Fall Shaker, or Fall Shaker Plate Bundle. So there's four different styles you get. <clears throat> These are always fun. <clears throat> Not only to use as shaker pieces, but when you just need, you know, a little leaf accent or, you know, you know just something to add on. These come in very handy. All right, this next one is called Keychain Number Two. So here's all the pieces. You got a bow, you got a little um, envelope pocket. Super cute. Layering pieces. So there's that one. <clears throat> Next up is Hey There Pumpkin, and this is the small size. So we got uh, Hey There Pumpkin, the words. We got a layering piece, and it looks like we have a second layering piece. Maybe it, um, it I should have cut that out for you guys. I didn't think, so I would know, because I don't know either. Um, cause there's another layering piece right here. Let's see. What does it do? Um, I'm not sure. It might, you know what it might do? It might let you do, Hey there pumpkin on this one. And it might let you just do, Hey pumpkin right here. I can't tell. Cause see, this is separate. This, the word there on this one is separate from the rest of this die. This shadow here is the whole, goes around this whole thing. So that might be, you might just be able to see, you can use, a, you have a shadow for just there by itself, and then also maybe just for Hey Pumpkin by itself. Okay, and then you got two little pumpkins um, here to, to use as a, you know, embellishment. And you can layer up on here. Super cute. So that's, Hey there, pumpkin small. Okay, and then she also has hey there, pumpkin large. So we have the same thing, just in a bigger size. So let me, oh, I think Rosen took off with my, 
my, uh, what you call it, ruler. <laughs> so let me try and put this up against my, my mat here and try and measure. Um, it looks like it's probably just kind of guessing, trying to line it up when it's still in the package. It looks like it's about four inches <clears throat> long and about, uh, looks like it's about two, two and a quarter inches, you know, from top to bottom for the, for the large one. Now the small one is, looks like it is about three inches long and about one and three quarters inches high. Okay. So both of these have the same, <clears throat> well, this has the same thing. So this one is all, so how did they do this? So here's your two pumpkins and there's your pumpkin cutout. So these are together. Let me see. <clears throat> let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so there's that separate and that separate. Or no, that's all together. I need to try that and so show, show you guys can see. <clears throat> but there's there's two borders again. So we'll have to figure that out. So I had some paper right here. Like maybe I can. Maybe I can just hang on a second. Let me grab some paper real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I had to find something big enough to cut two of them out of, but I'd like to know, so, and then so you guys could know. I mean, it may not be a big deal, but maybe it is to some. So, let's see. I'll just spin these out. That's what I do sometimes when I can't reach in and <laughs> hook my clippers, which is especially happens, it seems like, on words because there's not a ton of space in between. <clears throat> have my new little, well I don't happen to have, I always have it right here beside me, but it is my new little pink mini evolution. So let me just run these through real quick, quick so I can sh tell you guys and so I can see for myself since I hadn't opened these ones up yet and tried. Okay, so it does. See this even though this was one piece, it cut this there, the word there out separate. So hey pumpkin and there. So now this one is all one piece. So this one would cut out the whole hey there pumpkin words. Okay. And then this I will show you just for the heck of it, even though we pretty much know now. these in here and I will cut them out for you just to show you okay <laughs> I got words flying Okay, so hay is connected, so it's hard to see on top of the green on the green, but pumpkin is separate letters. So P, where'd the U go? Oh, it's the pumpkin, duh. Okay, and that I didn't get cut all the way out. Okay, so is it supposed to cut all the way out? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it should. Okay, so I just didn't get enough pressure right there. 
Okay, so P U M P K I N. Okay, and then you would have the um the pumpkin right here for the U, which I didn't cut out. Okay, and then this is how I get my words out a lot of times on my dies, <laughs> my die cuts. I just throw it on the throw it on the desk and they usually pop right out. So then there's the word there. So that can be laid up there. Okay. So now if I was to use this one, this big shadow piece, then all this would be together. Okay, like that. There'd be one big shadow piece around there. But if I didn't want to say there, I just want to say, hey, pumpkin, that I could just take this off, this just use these pieces, and I still have my shadow. Okay? So that's what it is. And that's the same thing on the little one. I can tell from that. And then I didn't cut these out, but then you'd be able to put these, you know, layered on top of the pumpkin. So that is, that solves the mystery of that. Because, like I say, a lot of times you can't tell from... Just looking at dice, you're like, okay, I'm not sure about this. Is it going to cut this or, you know, so that's what it does. Let's see if I can get these back in here. So sorry, this was just supposed to be a quick <laughs> little unboxing video. But I'm, I, I just think it's nice to know those things before you get them. Okay, so that's what that is. So same thing for the large and the small. All right. Next up, we have, this is called the small slider set number two. Okay, so again with the sliders. So um, the last set that she had, had um, a couple different shapes, um, but I don't know if you remember, but they weren't quite as long. They were only about, you know, like that. So these have some lot longer slots if you want to go, you know, have your slider go across a longer area. <clears throat> so... That is nice and handy. So this is a thinner slot. You can see the difference between there and there and there and there, even though they're the same length. Okay. And the same thing with this one. This is a thinner slot and a larger slot. So again, that small slider set number two. Uh, next up, we have this really cute sunflower mini album. Okay. So you got um, these two layering pieces with the stitching. Here's the sunflower part. You, so you could use this or not. So if you just want to make this design, you don't have to put the flower in there. Here is a really fun piece. And this is nice to have because you can use this with a lot of different uh, mini albums because not all of them come with that. Some some you just punch your own little hole and you know put a, um, you know, like a binder ring in it and stuff. Um, so if you, have, I mean, this is going to be nice to use on all of your um, midi albums if you want to, because it comes with this one, okay? And then the back, here's um, some more pieces to um, layer, and there's a circle for the center, so you're going to be able to make, um, you know, you'll be able to, here's the, here, this will be a border, it'll look like this in the center, like a sunflower, and um, that'll be super cute, really cute. Okay, again, Sunflower Mini Album. Next up, it's the Large Sunflower Bag Topper. Okay, again, you got your, um, your bag topper piece right here. Okay, here's your sunflower part. Here's the, um, you know, like the slot. Um, and then this part you're going to fold and you know attach the two together and here's your other layering piece for the sunflower and again those same pieces okay so there's all those different layering pieces and then there's also the small so small sunflower bag topper same pieces the base these two layering and these two layering very cute okay and then we have this which is called, I'm real excited about this one, a uh, jelly tote bag number two, okay? When you get this one, this is on the front and this is on the back, okay? That's not the only two pieces that come with this, okay? So this is gonna be your side, okay? Like, or your front, okay? Your front and your back. So you're gonna cut this twice, okay? And this piece is on the back. These are gonna be 
your side pieces. And then if you look in between, there's two layers of this, okay? So then in between, here's your bottom piece with a layering piece for it. And then there's your handle, okay? That you would cut two out of to put one on each side, okay? So that's gonna be a fun one. I have the first jelly, be jelly tote bag and I love it. This is just, you know, a different shape. It's gonna be so fun to use for swaps and stuff it's really fun to that's what i like these for for the swaps and i just you know make one of these and put all the stuff that i'm sending in my swap with it and it's just so handy and so cute and can be decorated like crazy so anyway that is jelly tote bag number two okay and then lastly um here's this one and <laughs> it's this one is all apart because this is what i started with which is called Pretty sure it's called the Trek Mini Album, yeah. So we got, this is the base piece, okay. Here is the stitched layering piece right here, okay. And then there is this piece, which gives you like the body, okay. And it's got some you know, like embossed parts there, okay. And then, so here's that, okay. I like that, you can layer it all up. Here is the side rails that go in back here in the bed of the truck. And then it has these pieces right here that you can layer. Okay, and they have like a wood grain look to them. And then you got the door and you got all the other parts for, um, for the tires and wheels and the mirror and different stuff like that. Okay, so all these little pieces come with it. I don't even have it. I don't even have the whole plastic. So I'm just trying to keep it all together. That's kind of why I had that last because I had it set aside. So that is the one that I started with. Um, I post a picture on Instagram. Look at my, here's a little sneak peek. Oh, this cute, cute, cute little truck. And this truck could be way more than just a fall truck. It can be a Christmas truck and a Valentine's truck and a, any reason, any season. Okay, so here's all your layering piece. So this is the base piece back here in the white. Here's the gold, that's the second layer with the stitching. And then I'd use my uh, floral pattern paper here for the, you know, the, the body of the truck. And then layered up some of those pieces for the wheels and tires. Put some brads here for the centers. And there's a bunch of little pieces couple of these have like little indents of where these pieces go because when you look at these you're like where does that go <laughs> where are those little pieces I could tell for sure on that one that that was the mirror that little the one right there but the other ones I didn't know then when I started looking <clears throat> if you notice on the truck you can see it's got it's got like an embossed piece right there so you can't see it through you know the camera right now but there was a little embossed area right there so that's where I knew where to put that little pink piece right there okay and then also then look right here you can see the little, that's the little door handle and so that's like this little piece right here so you know <laughs> it would be hard to know where to put that okay and then um there's these two other pieces now I'm not sure if this is exactly where they go but I use this one right here it looked to me like it should be the way it was kind of angled right here on this top, <clears throat> that it was like the edge of the, uh, like maybe the light, like the rear, the, the back tail light right there. And then, then I had this one left and I wasn't sure about this one. I'm not sure if I put it in the right spot or not because there was no more um, embossing pieces on here. I mean, there's this, but that's just, you know, there's no piece to go there and there's no piece to go here. So I was like, hey, where do the other pieces go? So I could see kind of a little curve like that. So that's where I put that little square piece, whether that's right or not, I don't know, but it looks cute there. And then also this one, I decided that maybe this was the front part of the bumper or the light. And so that's where I put that. Correct or not, I don't know, but it looked cute there. So that's what I did with those. And then these other ones are just um, more for the tires and wheels, the layering pieces. Okay, and then I made mine a box. Now, there's nothing in it yet, but I just thought it was so cute. So I'm like, it has to be a box. So I put two little circles up here. I made um, the headlights, okay? So I cut 
these two pieces, two layering pieces out of, you know, out of the 110 cap pound cardstock and then one pattern piece layered up here. Okay. And then on the back, like for my, um, what you might call it, license plate, I use that word fall. That was from the, the leaf mini album. So it said fall, welcome fall colors. Yeah. So I used the fall there and I just layered it up on and put it on foam. And, um, and then, so here's the little, this little pink piece. This is a little rail. Okay. So I put that on foam cause I wanted to be able to put stuff behind it. And then this little blue piece right here, this is the smallest one of the little ruffle from the ruffle set. So I just put that on there, just kind of be an old accent piece. Okay. These two pieces right here, these came out of the, um, door, <laughs> the door set, door mini album. I think I showed you that. Let's see if I see it. I don't know if I can pull it out without losing all the pieces. Okay, so right here. So it was these two pieces I cut off and I already used those. So I can see myself using these all the time because I love to have little pieces like this to stick in and layer. Okay, so those are those two. And then these are the flowers from the um, fringe flower set. So this one's just a couple of small pieces. This one's got like two of the larger pieces layered up together. And this one has, back here has all four just layered up, you know, in a line. So sometimes I put them all in the line. Sometimes I offset them. It just depends. Like this one I offset. So, but really cute. I like it. So anyway, I have some ephemera pieces back here from the collection. By the way, the collection I'm using for this is, um, What's it called? Uh, Harvest Market from Simple Stories. Love this collection. I like to do fall projects, but I'm not wild about fall colors. So, <laughs> and it's so funny because fall is my favorite season. I love the changing colors of the leaves, but like for crafting and for clothes and everything, that's not my, the colors I like. So, anyway, I like this. It, this had the pink and the, you know, the kind of the turquoise aqua stuff and a little bit of the yellow. So anyway, there's a couple of ephemera pieces in here, um, down here. And then back here, this is a layered up pumpkin that is from the, um, um, I think it's from the pumpkin mini album. I think this was the small pumpkin that came with it. And I had made it before and I didn't, hadn't used it yet. So I stuck it back there to be in the back of the truck too. So pumpkins and flowers and everything in the back of my little fall truck. I think that turned out really cute. So, and I just stuck this in here for decoration, but I fill them up, fill it up with, I can see like some cute little, you know, like some tiny little pumpkins and stuff back there. It'd be so cute. Some cute little flowers, but, and I'm, I'm not, don't know that I'm done with this, but I wanted to give a quick, you know, a little sneak peek of this so you could see how cute it was put together. Um, so like I say, I mean, I may do more. I just got this far so far. <laughs> So anyway, just wanted to share with that with you. So this other side is just plain white. And I have a little box that I cut down. It's gold inside. So I can put some stuff in it. And look how cute he is. So cutie patootie. Okay, so that is it. Sorry it's so long for a um, unboxing. But it's got one little project share too. And then kind of a mystery on this to see what that, how those dies work. So I think that's good to know. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to get playing with more of these. Thank you so much for watching. I have everything linked down below along with the website link, along with my affiliate link. If you use that, it will give a little bit of the profit to me. It doesn't cost you any more. And then I'll also be sure if you decide to purchase anything to use my um, discount code, which is Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10, and that'll give you 10% off at checkout. So yeah. Be sure to use it. Save yourself some money. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.